To produce good quality fusing, you have to be sure that your fusing machine is operating at the correct temperature. This machine is currently set at uh, 231 degrees Fahrenheit. But you have to keep in mind that the, the uh, thermocouple for these thermostats is on the heater and it's not exactly where the parts are going to go. The parts are going to be sandwiched in between the Teflon conveyor belts. So a really accurate way to find out exactly what the material is experiencing is to use something called temperature testing tapes. We, we have them, they come in a package of 40. See, the temperature testing tape has eight indicators and these will permanently change color once they've experienced that particular temperature. This strip is calibrated between uh, 220 and 290 degrees Fahrenheit in 10 degree increments. So when we take this strip, we're going to place it directly on the belt is, is one way to do it. And I suggest to do in the middle and on the edges because there can be a temperature difference. If there's something wrong with your fusing machine, if maybe all of perhaps one or two of the heat elements has stopped working, if that's the case, you'll get a greater temperature profile. There could be, it could be very much hotter in the center of the machine than it is on the edge. So it's something you want to be aware of if you're going to make sure that you have a good quality fusing job. We'll uh, take a look at these these machines. So we saw these strips came through and the temperature that it indicated was actually was actually 250. So it was indicating about 20 degrees higher than what the thermostat is saying. And that's not uncommon at all. And as long as you know where your machine is, you can either adjust your thermostats so that they match the what we call the glue line temperature, or you can just you can just know that if you set it to 130 that it's going to be a little bit higher. The other thing is we saw that in the center of the machine it was about 10 degrees warmer than on the edge. That's another thing. It's fairly common, and you know maybe uh, what you could do to prevent any problems is keep your parts slightly away from the edge if you know if that works for you either that or you can you know really take a cl close look at your machine to see what might be causing that uh, that temperature difference okay the um, the most accurate way to know what's going on with the temperature of your fusing is to use your actual fabric and inner lining and take a, a temperature testing tape and place it in between these two materials. See, so when we take this strip, we're going to place it right in between the two fabrics. And then uh, we've kind of folded over an edge, so later you'll see we'll be able to peel that apart. So now we're going to place this through the fusing machine with exactly the process that you've set up. So that material is going to experience the the temperature, time, and pressure that you're using for your fusing process. And then we'll pull that apart and we'll get to see what happened to the material actually right at the spot that matters, where the, the hot melt adhesive is. So we peeled off the inner lining and you can see that down at the glue line that this, that this uh, piece experienced 260 degrees. Fahrenheit. It's showing like the, the red dots indicate the maximum temperature reach. And you can also keep this as a, a record of exactly what was happening with your fusing machine at the time that the goods were processed.